हेलो डियर किड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर टू फ्रॉम योर एन एस ओ ओलम्पियड वर्क बुक चैप्टर नेम इज बर्ड्स लेट स्टार्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इट अबाउट बॉडी ऑफ बर्ड्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फीदर्स एंड देयर फंक्शंस डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बीक्स फीट एंड क्लॉज नेस्टिंग हैबिट ऑफ बर्ड्स सो लेट स्टार्ट बॉडी ऑफ बर्ड्स The body of bird is streamed, which make it easy for them to fly. Streamlined, which make it easy for them to fly. That's why their body is streamlined, so that they can be fly easily. Body of birds is made up of hollow bones to reduce bird's weight for flight. Because their bones are hollow, so that their bone does not have much weight so that they are very light in weight and can fly easily birds lift up in the air by flapping their wings upwards called upstroke and downwards called downstroke kids when bird want to fly in the sky so their wings are in upward direction this is called this is called upstroke this is called upstroke and when they come down to the earth or on the branches of the tree then they like this like this it means they down their strokes that is called downstroke a bird's body and wings are covered with three kind of feathers first one are flight feathers found in the tail and wings and these are meant for flying and balancing this is called flight feathers second one is down feathers short and soft feather to keep their body warm and third one is body or contour feather for giving streamlined shape to the bird's body these feather are present on their body so birds have three types of feather flight feather down feather and body contour feather bird build nest to lay eggs we all know that bird lay eggs and they need home or a safe place to lay them so that they build nest many kind of birds make many kind of nest some nest i can show you in the, during questions but here to are explained that the tailor bird use it beak like a needle to sew leaves to make nest this nest looks so beautiful and literally it sew the leaves corner and make a nest i will show in the, uh, show you this in the question next one is the weaver bird weave grass and twig in and out and it's beak to make a beautiful nest with a tunnel like opening at the bottom of it this nest is also looks very beautiful i will show this picture in my questions so here class of birds what are class of bird these are many type of class of the bird first one is the flesh eating birds have sharp and curved claw this is like this sharp and curved claw so that they can catch their prey in their talons easily so that this type of this type of claws they have like eagle eagle have sharp eyes so that he can see his prey from the high sky next is perching birds have three toes in front and one at the back one at the back and three in the front to hold their prey or to hold on to a branch that is called example sparrow for holding branches of the tree they have, they have this type of claws third one is scratching birds have strong sharp and hard claws to dig out insect from the ground like this like this they have very sharp claws the so that they then they can dig soil and dig out insect from the ground that is called like hen next one is climbing birds have two toes 
वन एंड टू दे हैव टू टोज अपवर्ड एंड टू पॉइंटेड डाउनवर्ड टू अपवर्ड एंड टू डाउनवर्ड एग्जाम्पल वुड पैकर नेक्स्ट वन इज स्विमिंग बर्ड्स हैव वेब फीट लाइक डक डक है वेब फीट सो दैट दे कैन स्विम इजिली नेक्स्ट इज वेडिंग बर्ड्स हैव लॉन्ग लेग्स लाइक दिस दे हैव लॉन्ग लेग्स एंड विथ स्प्रेड आउट टोज लाइक दिस दे आर स्प्रेड आउट टोज लाइक क्रेन सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस बीक्स ऑफ द बर्ड्स लुक एट द बर्ड दिस इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड कर्वड यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज कर्वड बीक लाइक दिस टू क्रैक नट्स एंड सीड्स लाइक पैरेट एग्जाम्पल इज पैरेट सो पैरेट बीक इज लाइक स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड कर्वड हमिंग बर्ड दे हैव लॉन्ग एंड पॉइंटेड लॉन्ग एंड पॉइंटेड बीक टू सक नेक्टर थर्ड वन इज डक ब्रॉड एंड फ्लैट लाइक दिस दे हैव ब्रॉड एंड फ्लैट विथ होल्स दिस इज होल एट द साइड ऑफ द टेक इन मडी वॉटर विद इंसेक्ट एंड टू फिल्टर वॉटर थ्रू होल्स थर्ड फोर्थ वन इज शॉर्ट एंड हार्ड हार्ड बीक लाइक दिस in this type of beak is present in sparrow or pigeon they help to crack open seeds and grains next one is woodpecker beak this is strong and chestel shape to make hole in a tree trunk and pull out insects this is woodpecker last one is eagle strong sharp and hooked this is hooked beak for tearing up the flesh so let's start our questions read the given statement dash and dash have long thin legs to wade through water which have crane have long legs i already told you in this this have long legs crane have long legs and flamingo flamingo also have long thin legs to wade through water crane or flamingo duck have web feet crane have long legs but duck have web feet so it is not uh, accurate second is dash and dash have sharp curved claws called talons talons have eagle and hawk very strong eagle and hawk they have very strong claws to to catch their prey option b is right answer next is which of these bird use its beak to weave piece of leaves grass and trick together to build it nest this is ostrich this is owl and this is this is weave a bird and this bird do the thing the weave, they weave piece of leaves grass and trick together to build the nest option c is right answer next question is the feather of a bird help it to fly right keep it warm right make it attractive this is also right protect the body this is right if you are if you want to uh, think about that point it may it their body make them attractive like you can see peacock their feathers are so beautiful that's why the bird is so much attractive so all a b c d are the right for the feather of bird next question is dash is a bird that can fly but to very short distance ostrich cannot fly hen is the bird which can fly at very short distance option b is right answer crow and pigeon can fly high in the sky so option b is right answer next question is the nest shown here is made by this is the nest is made by tailor bird as you can see here they are sewing leaves leaves like tailor sew the leaves so this is called tailor bird i will show you other birds uh, nest pick weaver bird this is weaver bird as you can see that it is a small hollow from there they can enter into their beautiful nest hummingbird nest is like this this is hummingbird nest and next is owl nest owl nest is 
in the trunk of the trees and in actual this is the tailor bird nest they sew the leaves like this they they are sew the leaf like this and make their nest so which one is the right answer nest shown here is the tailor bird nest option b is the right option a is the right answer next question is i make a nest with stones and pebbles and live in a very cold place i am good swimmer but cannot fly who am i i am a good swimmer but cannot fly this is penguin who can swim but can't fly but this is a bird option a is right answer next one is sohail group three birds together as shown in the box all these are dash birds look at this group this is this is cassowary this is emu and this is kiwi they cannot fly they are flightless birds actually they are flightless birds option c is right answer next is match the column and select the correct options column 1 is the feather of the birds types of feathers i already told you in explanation and why they are used here it is uses so let's check body feathers that give the bird its shape streamline body shape give by body feather down feather down feather are keep the body bird warm and flight feather they used in flapping so a to b 3 c 1 a to b 3 c 1 option b is right answer next question is study the given venn diagram this is venn diagram and select the correct option regarding it look at the diagram x what is x dekho you can see that they are overlap this is called venn diagram here x have web feet and flightless wings both qualities y y is web feet but broad and flat beak and z z has all three qualities because it is in the center of all three circles it has web feet flightless wings and birds and flat beak broad and flat beak so what would be correct option option a x could be penguin x this is x x have web feet and flightless wings this could be penguin yes it can be possible z could be stork z z could be stork no this is not possible because it doesn't have web feet y could be duck why why could be duck yes it can be duck because it has broad and flat beak and it has web feet this is right so a and c both are the right answer it means option d is right answer next question is the question 10 which of the following statement are incorrect hollow bones in birds help them to fly this is correct absolutely correct streamline body of birds help them to walk on ground no this is wrong streamline body help them to fly high c climbing birds have three toes in front and one at the back is it right no this is also incorrect so what is incorrect b and c both are the incorrect option b is right answer Next is study the given classification chart which of the following birds belong to group Y and group C respectively group Y and group C there is a chart here birds group Y and group C group Y is eagle group and group Z is emu group so here we have eagle which can fly high and emu which cannot fly so let's check bat and cassowary cassowary cannot fly like emu they are from same group but bat is not the same group of eagle goose and flamingo flamingo can fly 
Emu cannot fly, so they are not from the same group. But goose can fly; they are from the same group. Eagle, they have same group. Ostrich and kiwi. Kiwi cannot fly. This is right. But ostrich also cannot fly. So this is not matching with the eagle. Goose and cassowary. Yes, they both are right. Goose can fly and cassowary cannot fly. Option D is right answer. Next is five children made the following statement about birds. Ashok, all birds can fly. Sanvi, all birds have beak. And Ashu, all birds have a backbone. So Rishika, all birds have an outer covering of feathers. Monica, Monica, most birds lay eggs while some give birth to their young ones. Whose statement about birds are incorrect? Let's check which statement is incorrect. So, kids, look, all birds can fly. This is wrong because, like emu, I already told you, cassowary, cassowary, and some other birds like ostrich, they cannot fly. So, this is wrong statement. Sanvi statement is right. All birds have beak. Ashu statement is also right. All birds have backbone. Rishika statement is right. They have feather. Monica statement is wrong about the giving birth of young ones. Birds only can lay eggs. So this statement is also wrong. So Ashok and Monica are having wrong statement, but other are right. So option C is the right answer. Next is select the incorrect statement. Option A: Ostrich has two toes on each foot. Right. Oil gland is present in the base of bird's tail. This is also right. Nest of flamingo is called eyrie. Wrong. Eyrie is the nest of eagle, not flamingo. Flamingo lives in the water or near water. Cuckoo bird does not make its own nest. This is also incorrect. Sorry, though this is also correct. So, incorrect statement is option C. Next is some type of beaks are shown below. These type of beaks. Select the option that correctly matches the beak with the type of food it is adapted to eat. So let's check seeds for seedling. They they should have this type of uh, beak. This type of for nectar. Yes, this is for this type of beak. Flesh. This type of beak is used for nectar, sucking nectar. N e c t o r, and this type of beak. To catch prey or to fla tear flesh meat, this type of beak is of eagle. This is broad, flat beak. This beak is used for insect or worms and a small plant eating. And this is for seedling. I already told you. So nectar, flesh tearing. This is for worms or insect, and this is for seeds. So. Option C is right answer. Next question is select the correct option regarding the body part of bird shown below. These are the claws of the birds. Let's check here. D help bird to paddle in water. D option D is here paddling in water. No webbed feet help in water. E help in water water paddling in the water. Option B: E help bird to perch a tree branch. No, this is also wrong. Which F help in perching the branch of the tree? C: F help bird to kill its prey and tear flesh. This is G, not C. G help bird to wade through water. This is right. This is the leg of crane or flamingo. This is right answer. Option D is right. Next is question sixteen. Select the option that correctly identify any two among P S. P S. Bird. Yes, it can fly. P is no. Bird. P is the bird which cannot fly, like emu, cassowary, ostrich, etc. And yes, they can fly. Has three toes in the front and one at the back. Which bird have three toes in the front and one at the back? Yes, 
it would be a woodpecker or parakeet so r what is our make nest with plant material like grass twigs so which bird is making the nest with the help of grass and twigs yes yes it can be sparrow crow bulbul any one else or r is not making their nest this is like flamingo crane duck they does not make the nest so let's check our question select the option correctly about the p and s p is not flying and s is making their nest with the help of twigs so let's check option q is parakeet and r is penguin is it right no this is wrong p peacock and s is bulbul this is also wrong peacock can fly but here p group cannot fly so third one is r flamingo and s mana this is right flamingo cannot fly and mana make their uh, their nest with the help of grass and twigs option c is right answer next is select the correct option regarding ps four from this here again p can be a bird whose nest is called airy yes i already told you airy is the nest of eagle so is it right because p is the group which cannot fly so this is the wrong statement airy is the nest of eagle and it can fly high in the sky option b q can be a bird that make it nest by scraping piles of mud q q is the bird which is making their nest by scraping piles of mud is it right here in the chart q is the bird it has three toes in the front and at the back no it doesn't have so how it can be how it can be make scraping this is also incorrect r can be a bird that sew leaves using its needle like beak to make it nest r this is r and r is not using material plant material for making nest so this is not all this is also not matching and here they are saying they are making nest by the plant leaves next is cuckoo bird lay its egg in the nest of bird s s cuckoo bird does not make its own egg uh, nest so they lay egg in another nest so this is right this is right option d is right answer question 18 is refer to the given venn diagram and select the correct option regarding x y z here x is a migratory bird wedding feet and largest egg laying bird largest egg laying bird is the only bird bird is ostrich ostrich is the bird who lay largest egg but it is not a migratory bird so this is wrong here a next x with y y has wedding feet and it is a migratory bird also uh, y can be siberian crane yes this is possible it siberian crane is a migratory bird and crane have wedding feet so this is right w can be flamingo w can be flamingo no because it, the flamingo does not lay largest egg and z can be architect architect turn no it is also not possible because they also not lay largest egg so only c is the right option next is in this grid refer the given grid answer the following question number 19 and 20 bird with which of the following food type is not present in the given bird grid first one are talons these are talons second one is web feet like penguin duck etc third one is a parrot bird claws and fourth one is the long flamingo or crane bird feeds let's check what we have here in the grid we have here penguin in the first we have penguin here we have parrot here this is parrot we see we have parrot here this is parrot you can see here this is parrot 
and hair on hair hair on hair also we don't have eagles here so option a is the right answer we don't have talons here next select the bird that you can find in the given word grid bird that weave its net nest for from grass that is weaver bird bird that sews net from leaf that is tailor bird which sew with leaf a bird that make it nest using stones and pebbles on the ground which bird type of these bird these are the penguin types of bird a bird that take it nest by packing wood yes which bird type is this this is woodpecker obviously so let's check what we have in the grid we have weaver bird here this is weaver bird so let's check which bird we cannot find we can find in the grid yes but we don't have weaver here we don't have tailor bird here we have penguin yes we have penguin here we have option c penguin here in the word grid option c is the right answer so kids here we learn about chapter birds repeat this video learn on the concept of the birds for about their feathers about their claws and about their beak which are coming in your exam repeat this video learn all the chapter if you like this video please like share and subscribe my youtube channel kvs coach don't forget to press bell icon to get notification for each new video thank you bye bye